Hello, I am going to talk to you about the Here and There application scheme where students may be offered third level places on reduced points. The Here scheme, which is Higher Education Access Route, is a scheme for students from socio-economically disadvantaged backgrounds and the Dare scheme is for students who have a disability which has had a negative impact on their education. So what does reduced points mean? Reduced points varies from college to college, but the average point reduction is 10 points. And there is also a quota of here and there places available. However, you will still have to meet the minimum entry requirements for your chosen course. For example, there may be a requirement for maths and accounting at leave insert. Students who apply for DARE will also receive assistance from the disability office of third level institution. This is a list of the third level institutions who operate the here and there scheme. I have highlighted the most common ones attended. The here application. In order to be eligible for here, you must meet a combination of indicators, but everyone must meet indicator one which is the income indicator. Your income must be below €45,790 in 2019. Indicator 2, the medical or GP visit card. The student or their family must have a medical or a GP visit card in date on the 31st of December 2020. Indicator 3, it's social welfare. Parents or guardians of the applicant must have been in receipt of a social welfare payment for a minimum of 26 weeks during 2019. Indicator 4, known as the socioeconomic group. The parents or guardians, the job that they have, their employment status or their occupation must be up underrepresented at third level. Indicator 5 is a DESH school. So St. Abbey's is a DESH school, so every applicant or student meets this indicator. Indicator 6 is based on your postal code and if the area that you live in is classified as very disadvantaged. So there are six indicators in total. So the combination of indicators. You must be meet indicator one and a combination of two other indicators to be eligible for here. So that is one and two plus one other, one and three plus one other, one and four plus five or six, and one plus five or six. Remember, you must have indicator one and all St. Aylby students have indicator five. OK, so the DARE application, that's based on a, an applicant or a student having a diagnosed disability, which has negatively impact on their educational. So this is a list of disabilities that are eligible for consideration for DARE. I've highlighted specific ongoing illness as this is also eligible. That could be something like diabetes, cystic fibrosis, Crohn's disease, etc. Remember, it is an ongoing illness. So in order to be eligible, you must provide evidence of your disability. A letter from your doctor is not sufficient. It must be from an appropriate professional, for example, a psychologist, a neurologist, somebody in that field. And the final date for submission of evidence is the 15th of March 2021. So the due application is made up of two sections. Section A, which is known as supplementary information. This is completed as part of the CAO application itself and it's five short questions. 
a tick box really. Section B then is the educational impact statement. So, and that consists of two parts, the personal statement and the educational impact statement itself, which is completed by. So the educational impact criteria, so for the personal statement, this is written by the student detailing how their disability has affected their experience in school and their school life in general. So you must include as many items as possible when you're actually writing this personal statement. The second part is the education impact statement. This is completed by the school and details how the disability has affected the students in the area of results, maybe attendance, if supports are required, in other words, anything that the school has to provide in addition to help them to achieve the best possible outcome during their education. This will be signed by the principal or vice principal from St. Albies and the form is returned to your parent or guardian. So it is the responsibility of us and the student or the parent or guardian to return part A and B before the 15th of March 2021. So this slide here is in order to be eligible for DARE, you must meet a combination of educational impact indicators. So they are intervention supports, attendance and disturbance, school experience and well-being, learning and exam results, and any other educational impact which may not be listed in the previous four items. However, applicants which has a specific learning difficulty, there is additional criteria on them. They must have, provide two literacy or numeracy scores which were below the 10th percentile from testing. And that testing had to be carried out before the 1st of February 2018. And the final slide is just a timeline of the here and there application for process and the important dates which are down along the left hand side. So basically when I'm trying and get your information together, start processing the information or figuring out what you need and to get it together as soon as possible. Do not leave it too late and make sure everything is sent off well in advance of all the deadlines. So thank you for listening um, and I hope you found it informative.